Greetings and welcome to this Autodesk Invented Tips and Tricks playlist. This tip and trick is, it's vault related I'm afraid, so if you don't use vault, I'm sorry this video is not really going to be for you, so you might not get much out of it, but if you do use vault, this might be of some use to you, so I'm going to make it quick. You might know it, you might not, but you know, it's going to be a short one. It's to do with the vault uh, browser on the left hand side. So this is obviously, as you know, your you inventor browser, it shows you your models and your constraints, etc. And if you use vault, you'll know that to look at the current status of your files, you need to click this button here and then select vault. This shows you the current status of your file. Is it checked out to you? Is it checked out to somebody else? What's the status of the file in the workspace? Is it locked? That sort of stuff. But it doesn't give you much else. So you might think, fine, I don't need anything else. Ah, but do you? But do you now? Because the, you, can, you can see a little bit more information in here if you so want to. I'm going to focus on these buttons along the top, these ones here. Now, I'm going to save a couple of them for other videos, but I'm going to focus on the vid on the button on the end, which looks like a clipboard, this one here. Now, you might think, or you might have looked at it and thought, well, it's a clipboard, it's copying clip, you know, put to the clipboard and paste it. Some no, it's not. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, this button's actually called Choose Properties. Now, what this lets you do is give it a click and it'll ask you to choose properties. Now, this pretty much, it lists all the properties that are inside your vault all of the, the, the various properties that Vault's cached over the years, and then I can show you inside the Vault client, you can then link into your browser. Why would you want to do that? Well, for example, you might want to look at these files and see what's the current lifecycle state. I see a padlock there, but what, what does the padlock mean? Well, if you scroll all the way down and you go to, let's say, state, state historical, don't choose state, it'll have to be state historical, and then click add, and then click OK, it'll actually show you the current state of the file as it currently is now in Vault, which is, you know, it's very, it's useful. It's not going to make you quicker or make you better, but you know, it's useful. So on a similar note, you can say, well, all right, then fair enough. I can see the lifecycle state, but what about the revision? What revision number are my files at? Well, scroll down to revision, add that, and then there you go. It's now that file there is released for manufacture, and it's Rev One. You, you can't argue that's useful. It's not amazing, but it's useful. Uh, another useful one as well, which isn't brilliantly designed, if anyone from Autodesk is watching this, and I know some of you guys do, this isn't brilliant. What would be really nice is to know if the files are currently linked to an item. If you use Vault Professional and you use items, this would be really nice. So the property is linked to item. If you add that in, it'll. the only feedback it gives you is true and false, which, you know, You've added the property, so you'll know what true and false means. But to anybody else, be like, well, true. What? What's true? I don't understand what true is. You know, it doesn't really make much sense to anybody else. But I've added the property, so I know that's linked to item is true. So, yeah, you know, it's 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 good feedback nonetheless. But it could be improved. But anyway, yeah. So that's the choose properties area. You can pretty much pick anything you want, any property you want. Who who modified the file uh, when it was last checked in? That's so anything you want. Any property vault can can display you can display in your browser on the left hand side here but obviously be a bit be a bit wary because that can end up stacking massively so you know um if that does happen you can you've got the scroll bar at the bottom that you can scroll you can scroll to you know, sort of left and right with it but there you go okay that's pretty much it i hope that helped uh if it did please press like on the video uh, subscribe to the channel and put some comments in the video below thank you very much guys and until next time see ya